Hey everybody, what's up? It's Pat here from Mountain Sledder. Today I want to show you guys every single item that I bring with me when I go mountain riding in the backcountry. So we're going to cover everything. We're going to do it fast. Stick around. Okay, so before we dive right into the gear, I just wanna make a couple of quick points. Number one, I'm gonna move fast. I'm gonna try and keep this video short because I hope that you all stick around and watch the entire thing just to see everything that's in my kit. And I hope that you guys can maybe add something in the comments. What's something that you bring along with you when you go riding in the back country? What's a different safety item or what's something that you do differently? Okay, second point that I wanted to make is that this is not a definitive list of gear that everybody needs to or should bring into the backcountry with them. This is what I bring personally when I go. Um, it's important to have certain safety gear, of course. Uh, there's some must-have items that everybody needs to have, like their avalanche gear. And then there's some other items that are luxury items that maybe you don't necessarily need, like, say, heated goggles or something like that. And then there's other items that can be split amongst your group that you're riding with. For example, certain first aid equipment or whatever, just so that not everybody's overly burdened. This is a lot of stuff to bring with you, I understand that. Not everybody's gonna wanna carry as much gear. Some people will wanna bring a little bit more just to be extra safe. Okay, and the third and final point I wanna make before we get started into this video, going through all the gear, is that it took me a long time to accumulate all this gear. So don't feel like you have to go out and necessarily grab every single item on this list by any means. Start with what you can. Obviously the safety uh, items are a necessity and they need to be included in your kit first. And then after that, you know, once you can afford it, go out and get some of the other items and you choose to, that's great, that's fine. But don't feel like I need to have every single thing on this list to go out there and have a good time in the mountains. Okay, everybody, so here we go. I've emptied my bin. This is what I like to carry a lot of my gear out to the truck in. Just makes it easy to grab it with two handles, throw it in the back seat, and you're ready to go. You know, you can get these anywhere for like 15 bucks. So pretty handy little tool. And I'm gonna start from the bottom because that's how when I'm packing, I remember all my stuff um, and I have showed up at the trailhead without certain gear before um, but over the years kind of refined a method of doing it to help me not forget items and so the way that I do that in terms of like what I'm wearing in my body I start with my feet and I work my way up just working through in my head okay what do I need at each part and then I throw it in the bin and then I know I have everything so I'm um, gonna start at the bottom with obviously my snowmobile boots they go right in the bottom Okay, this stuff is all kind of the next layer. Before I put my snow pants on or my snow bibs, um, I wear knee guards just to protect my knees from the body panels on the sled or the running boards. Um, been wearing a number of different types for different years. Um, these are the ones I currently use. And uh, you know, I've used hard style ones. I've used volleyball pads when I first started out. Um, whenever you can get, it just helps to, when you're going down hills, take the hits from the, uh, the body panels on your knees. Um, so next up goes on my bibs. I'm um, not going to talk too much about them except for one thing, just what's in the pockets because that's part of the gear I bring, right? So um, in this pocket I keep this little ski pole strap, which is just a handy little device to uh, attach to somebody's sled when they're stuck, help them get a little start by pulling on the ski or the spindle or the bumper or whatever. That stays in there forever. And that's it for my bibs. And next I've got a couple of these little utility straps. I actually use these, wrap them around the base of the snow gasket on my bibs and uh, just cinch them up. And that actually keeps the gaskets from pulling up and snow getting down inside my boots, which is an issue for me in work um, because oftentimes when you're taking video or photo, you're stomping around in the snow, trying to get to a spot or a certain angle or whatever, and the snow is deep. And so if you don't have something holding those bib gaiters down, sometimes they can pull up and get snow in there and that can ruin your day. So I always bring a pair of those. Next up, a couple of safety items. First of all, my VHF radio. I always bring this with me and this allows me to communicate on the forestry service roads with any type of logging traffic or other snowmobilers. So I just throw that in my boots and then that way I know where it is. When I get to logging roads, it's easy to grab and pull out. Next item is my avalanche transceiver. So this also goes in my boots. I don't know why, it just seems like a safe spot for it to go so it doesn't get damaged or something. It doesn't rattle around and I always know where to find it. 
So that goes in one of my boots and that's part of one of the first pieces of absolutely essential safety gear for riding in the mountains to be safe and protected to be able to find your companions so they can find you in the event of an avalanche. Okay, next up I have my jacket. Sometimes I wear a mono suit or jacket and bibs, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't put a lot of stuff in my jacket pockets. Um, number one, because I sometimes wear a vest, an avalanche uh, airbag vest, and that makes it hard to access the pockets. And also I just don't like the feeling of having a bunch of heavy stuff stuffed in those pockets bouncing around. But I do keep a couple of items in my little hidden pocket here. And so that is where I keep my um, snowmobile membership card. And that way I never forget it. And I show up at the trailhead and I can scan away and be heading up the trail for the day. And I also keep a little bit of cash in there. And that way if I go to a different town, I'm on the road or whatever, and I'm not a member of the club and I need to buy a, a day pass or a trail fee pass, uh, I don't forget it because I've done that many times actually showing up at trailhead and had to turn around from the booth Go back to the parking lot to the truck grab some or find some money uh, Or borrow some from a friend and uh, so now I just keep keep a solid 50 right in there And then a little bit of chapstick just for sun protection Got to keep the money maker looking good, you know Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here and just get my helmet in there um, this actually this little helmet case that I have just always stays in there uh, in my bin kind of just protects my helmet and uh, so yeah helmet goes in there and then I usually throw everything that I'm gonna put on immediately when I get to the trailhead or I'm ready to leave the parking lot that usually just goes in my helmet and then it's ready to last minute gear up but before we get to that I'm just gonna show you a couple items that I keep stored in the side of my helmet bag here. One of them is um, FRS radio. Lots of times people that you ride with in the group, sometimes they use a VHF radio, sometimes they use an FRS radio. So it's good to have both. And I like to bring an extra one along just in case oftentimes somebody doesn't have one in your group or they forget it or their battery died because they didn't charge it or whatever. That's a really common thing. So. I happen to have an extra spare FRS radio, so I just leave it in my bag and then if somebody needs it, they have it. But uh, it's just important to ask before you leave the trailhead, hey, has everybody got a radio? Do your radio check. Make sure everyone's batteries are good. Um, and if not, then boom, to the rescue. I also carry a spare transceiver in uh, my side pouch there. And that's pretty much the same thing um, in case somebody forgets their transceiver, which has happened before. And also sometimes they haven't changed their batteries. Um, so I also carry some spare batteries and I don't actually carry the batteries in the transceiver because it's not really a good idea to long-term store batteries inside your transceiver because if the batteries leak or they explode or whatever, it damages your transceiver and then it's not covered under warranty and it's just not a good idea to store batteries in your transceiver. So I've got the brand new batteries for the transceiver in a separate bag and those just go in my little side pouch and I have a wax scraping tool in there for some reason, but that's about it. I just carry those extra items. Those are kind of one of those luxury things that I happen to have um, that I've accumulated over the years um, and just kind of through working in the industry. So uh, transceivers are obviously quite expensive. Not everyone's gonna have a spare one, but if you do and you can bring it along, that's great. Okay, so this is kind of the next step is all the stuff that I put inside the helmet, which is upside down in there. Um, these are all the things that I just kind of throw on last minute before uh, heading up the trail. So they're ready to go. Um, so depending on the weather, the temperature, I kind of have three neck head warring devices, I guess you could say. Um, so I've got like a lightweight tube. These are kind of good for spring days or whatever, just a general purpose. Um, I have a heavier duty sort of fleecy one um, that can keep your neck warm, keep the drafts out. Um, for kind of medium coldness days and then when it's really cold I have a full balaclava so middle of winter probably using this one as we get later in, in winter and into spring I'm, I'm gonna bring the other ones and I, I'm not gonna bring all three of those every time but you know one of those is gonna make its way into my bag for sure the gloves I'm gonna set out from the trailhead in they go in there and then um, my goggles of course and depending on what the light conditions are like whether I want a dark lens or a lighter lens um, is going to kind of inform the decision of which ones to bring. So the last item to go on top of the bin is my avalanche airbag. 
So this contains uh, quite a bit more equipment inside we'll go through, try and keep it quick for you guys. Um, but Avalanche airbags, one of those kind of uh, Avalanche safety pieces of equipment that's a little bit more expensive, might take you a little while to accumulate one, but definitely having your probe, shovel, and transceiver is the first step before you ride in the mountains at all. And uh, when you can afford it, getting an Avalanche airbag is another nice peace of mind uh, for safety in case you do become involved in an Avalanche. But as you can see here, I've got my shovel and shovel handle on the backpack. It's important to have it, carry a shovel on your backpack, even if you do carry one also on your tunnel or on your tunnel bag, your snowmobile, you need to have one with you in case you become separated from your snowmobile. Um, important that you carry a shovel with you at all times. And there's my probe right there, it goes in a probe sleeve. Um, so just quickly inside my airbag, this is what I carry. Um, I have a spare set of goggles in there for in case my other ones get fogged up and iced up or whatever. My radio goes inside here and um, the speaker mic just threads through the bag and comes out the front there so I can communicate easily right there. Inside here I have my uh, some of my emergency essentials. I have my um, satellite communication device. Um, in this case it's a Zolio but a Garmin or a Spot or whatever uh, can do the trick as well but I just keep that really handy, my top pouch there in case I need it. And then I also have, this is kind of like the common, the common pocket, I guess, because these are the things that I often use, um, not for emergencies, I should say, but just to communicate with uh, my family back home, let them know the day's going well and I'm okay. Um, but also in here, we've got some uh, roll of toilet paper, lighter, and uh, I've got just a little bottle of, um, painkillers in case you have a headache or something like that throughout the day or some aches and pains and I don't actually pack this as Advil on it but I don't actually pack Advil I actually pack Midol which is a bit of like a, a sweet little hack for you guys um, if you're out there and you you're not feeling well and it's got a little bit of a mood enhancer in it too so that's kind of like a little bit of a bonus perk there so in my other pouch here I carry a headlamp mostly this gets used probably at the end of the day when it's dark and I'm trying to load up and find all my gear make sure I didn't leave something on the ground whatever um, that always comes with me and I also carry a um, this is one of those like uh, high power flashlights so it can go on your helmet it comes in really handy on those deep days where you don't want to stop riding and it's getting dark and you, you don't want to leave but you should and uh, riding out, you know, there's snow covering the headlight and you can't really see where you're going. So if you have one of these things on your helmet, no problem, see where you're going. And uh, I just have a backup battery also for my uh, heated goggles in case uh, it's a really foggy or wet day and I'm using them constantly and the battery runs out, I have a backup, which I've never had to use, but it's there in case I need it. So that's it for the inside of the pack. On the front, I have two pouches on this one, this particular bag. Uh, and this one I keep a goggle bag just for throwing a GoPro in or um, wiping your goggles down easily. It's quick to access, easy to do. And I also keep a pair of sunglasses in here. And uh, these are my prized Yamaha sunglasses. So those are really handy on sunny days when you stop for lunch or you, you know, you've got the camera out and you don't want to burn your eyeballs. It's nice to have those handy. Uh, and then on this side, I just keep my toque. So same thing when you're stopping, you know, you don't want to get cold. Just pull your toque out, throw it on real quick and away you go. So that's kind of some convenient stuff that I like to use throughout the day. Okay. That's my outerwear stuff and some safety gear. Okay. So let's find out what's in my tunnel bag here. And I even packed a little lunch just to show you exactly every single item that I bring with me when I go sledding for a day in the backcountry. Okay, on top, the items I'm gonna use most often and then down at the bottom is kind of like safety gear, stuff that I'm not gonna use on a daily basis, but stuff that I wanna have in, a, in case of an emergency or have a breakdown or something like that. That kind of goes in the bottom. So on top, I got my lunch on here. I like to carry my lunch in a little bag. Um, it just makes it easy. You can throw it on the handlebars at lunch and it just keeps everything contained in one little spot. And that way there's not like, you know, granola bars and sandwiches floating all around in my tunnel bag. And every time I open it, they want to go flopping out. I have a down jacket. So this is just a, like a highly compressible down jacket that's, you know, on cold days, I'll pull it out, throw it over top at lunch. But um, a lot of times I don't even use it, but 
Um, in the case of an emergency, I definitely want to have it. I have a friend who made use of one of these in a real emergency and uh, he said he never goes riding without it. So I don't either now. Uh, the rest of my lunch there, I've got my water bottle, try and bring lots of water. I don't know about everybody else, but I, I get really thirsty throughout the day. So I pack as much as I can basically. And I've got my pretty cool little Turcotte Riding Clinic sticker on there from last year. So that's how I know that's my sledding water bottle. Uh, spare pair of gloves. Always a great idea to bring a spare pair of gloves. Chances are you're gonna get them wet even throughout the day, even if you do your best not to like be digging in the snow and whatever. Um, most days, unless it's a nice dry spring day, you know, you're probably gonna get wet hands. So always a good idea to bring a spare pair of gloves with you. I will set this aside for now because I'm gonna go over some of my camera equipment here quickly, but uh, that's a camera piece that I made. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, more camera stuff. Here's uh, just a little emergency bivy. It's just a sack, a waterproof breathable sack that you can go into like a sleeping bag. So it's kind of a cheap item that's really good to have because it's gonna add some wind protection, snow and water protection, and uh, add some warmth. It's got that reflective layer inside. So uh, if you're sleeping outside, I recommend you're gonna want one of these things. Uh, this is a must have for anybody who's going mountain sledding some point you're probably gonna hook a ski around a tree, a little sapling tree. I just carry a folding saw with me. These things are super cheap and this probably gets used, I'm not gonna say every time I go riding, but it comes out quite a bit. So can't go wrong with one of those. Okay, first aid kit. I'm not gonna open it because I don't think we have the time to go through that. But uh, if you guys wanna learn more about what kind of first aid equipment we might bring on a, on a ride in the mountains, leave a comment below and we can maybe make a move, another different video about that. But um, yeah, I've got like a Sam splint, trauma bandages, um, tensor wraps, all kinds of stuff in there. But uh, there's lots of packable first aid kits uh, that you can get out, out there now. And this is just a waterproof um, roll top dry bag that it's in. It keeps everything dry. I just leave it in my tunnel bag, even if the tunnel bag gets wet. I know the contents are dry, so I just leave that in there. Um, I have another dry bag in here. This is all my uh, tools and repair equipment. So there's a couple things in here I will show you guys. So I got another dry bag inside here. This is a tool roll. So I've got a, just a variety of uh, the common types of tools that you would use on your snowmobile. Um, some vice grips, little cable ties, um, just a little roll of handy items in there. Here we have, this is a uh, toe strap can be used easily to tow somebody else's sled out. If they have a breakdown or my sled or whatever, just make sure you remember to remove the belt, hook that thing up, it's easy to do. And we're, uh, we're bringing that thing home tonight. I've got some more toilet paper and a backup lighter. Sometimes these lighters don't really wanna work in the cold or they've run out of fluid or whatever. So I always bring two of them with me. I mean, these things are tiny, they weigh nothing. So always got a little bit of extra TP and a, and a lighter so I can get a fire going. If I need to, I've got some Gorilla tape. This stuff works great in the cold. It's really strong. It's probably the best kind of tape that I can think of to bring with me. So I got that. I have a cord for cutting a cornice. If I want to cut a cornice to do a slope test, which I rarely ever do, but it's in there just in case I get inspired. And uh, a pair of little locking pliers in there and in just a plastic bag to keep them dry. And that's everything in my little tool kit that I carry. Um, also my tunnel bag here. Okay, we're getting into some of the camera stuff here. So um, I have a chin mount for my GoPro, just clips right onto the helmet. That thing's pretty cool. Um, a bumper mount, a couple of bumper mounts. A, this is the wrench that can be used to attach the bumper mount. And then this is another similar style thing. So that's kind of the GoPro action. And this is my little custom uh, GoPro mount rod that everybody on videos always asks me about. Hey, what's that? Where do you get that thing um, that mounts the GoPro? And the answer is you buy a piece of dowel at the hardware store and you paint it white and you glue some stuff on it. Okay, everybody, so that's it. That's everything that I bring, every single item when I go sledding. Oh, except for one thing. Here's a little hack for you that I almost forgot. When you're heading out there, when you load up the night before and you've got your snowmobile on the back of your truck and in the morning you don't want to leave 
without your snowmobile key. After you load up, take your snowmobile key and clip it to your truck keys. And then that way, when you leave in the morning, there's absolutely no way this little beauty is gonna be left behind. Because there's nothing worse than getting to the trailhead and you go to unload your sled and you can't find your key anywhere. So try that little tip and trick. So that's it. That's every single item that I bring when I go out for a day in the mountains. Uh, I hope you guys found that useful. If you do, please leave a comment. Let me know what do you guys do differently? What, what's something that you add? What's something that you leave behind? Please consider subscribing to our channel. Like this video if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you guys out there.